Hi everyone, this is Alex Nye, Instructional Technologist at the Community College of Aurora. This week I'm going to demonstrate how to use Intelligent Agents in your D2L course. Intelligent Agents are designed to send automated messages to students based on certain levels of activity or inactivity in a course. They can send a reminder to a student that hasn't logged into your course for several days, notifying them that accessing D2L regularly is important in the course. Another example is notifying students that received a low grade on assessments that they should seek help. To access the Intelligent Agents feature in your course, first go to the Resources area at the top of the page. Then click on Edit Course. The Intelligent Agents option is located underneath Communication. And on this page, I want to create a new agent. For this agent, I'm going to send an automated message to students that haven't logged into my course for five days. First, you must give your agent a name, the description is optional, but in this case we want our agent enabled right away so that we can use it. Below that, I'm looking for the course activity option, and I want to send my message to students that haven't accessed the course for at least five days. In this case, I'm not going to worry about attaching additional release conditions. You would want to use this if you intend to associate this automated message with assessments or grades. In the Agent Action option, I want to take action every time the agent is evaluated. This means that every time the student hasn't logged in for five days, they will get a new message. Next, I'm going to set a schedule of when this agent should run automatically. This means that I won't have to go in and run it manually every time I want the messages to go out to students. Check the Use Schedule radio box then hit update schedule to set a time frame and I'm gonna have this repeat daily uh, every day and we'll make it a start date of today's date and once I click update the schedule will be set The email format is usually okay to leave as HTML and below that we'll have the option to enter our message. For the to field I'm going to use a special code for an email address and you'll find that in the what special email addresses can I use link. The very first option is what you want to put in for the to field. The initiating user is in this case whatever student has logged into the course for five days. So it's whatever user that is satisfying your conditions. So I'm going to put the initiating user as the recipient and I'll go ahead and copy myself on the message so that I receive each of these emails. Lastly, we come to entering our actual message to send to students. It functions much like a regular email with a subject and a message. When I click Save and Close, I'll have my automated agent checking once a day to see if students have logged in and sending messages to those that haven't. I hope this has been a helpful video and stay tuned for more helpful tips next week.